हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द जॉइन 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 मेथड और जॉइन फंक्शन इन पंडाज वी हैव आल्सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द मर्ज फंक्शन कॉन्कैट फंक्शन टू मर्ज और टू कॉन्केनेट कॉन्केटिनेट और टू कंबाइन द टू मोर देन टू मोर देन वन डेटा फ्रेम ओके मोर देन हाउ टू कंबाइन मोर देन टू डेटा फ्रेम मोर देन वन डेटा फ्रेम इन वन डेटा फ्रेम uh for we for this we have a uh, concrete function and merge function as i have discussed already okay but in this uh, uh, and they uh, merge function and concrete function have different different feature to merge or to concrete or to combine the two data frame or uh, to series in one okay this is uh, join method join method in pandas to used to it is convenient to method for combining the column of two Uh, potentially different index. If we have a two, uh, uh, we have a two data frame with different index. Then to join them, uh, how we we use the join method, or we use the join function in pandas. There are uh, there are so many parameters in join function, and the index of join function is data frame dot join. We have used. Okay, now uh, how to use the join function for this? First, we need to import uh, pandas library in our Jupyter notebook. so first we write here pandas to import a pandas library so we write here import pandas import pandas as pd and then simple run now uh, first we need to create a data frame to join okay or uh, to learn how to join two data frame first we need to create or two data frame okay how to create a data frame Uh, we have already discussed in uh, so many times in previous video uh, if you want to uh, learn how to create a data frame with the help of a dictionary or with the help of list you can uh, see my pre previous video okay or you can uh, follow my all uh, list of this this type of uh, tutorial okay so here we write simple to create a data frame simple light pd dot pd dot data frame pd dot data frame and we create here uh, with the help of dictionary so we pass the curly braces okay and suppose uh, because dictionary method take the keys and values so suppose here key name is uh, suppose capital a our my key name and the values are suppose in the square bracket suppose 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 okay and another key name is suppose b just uh, take example okay and suppose values are you can take here uh, 100 and 200 300 and 400 okay suppose so this is our first data frame now assign uh, one variable to data frame to uh, to call the data frame so we write here suppose df1 the data frame name data frame 1 and when we need to call this simple simply we write here df1 and then press uh, shift plus enter to run the program this is my first data frame is created now to join uh, more than two or two data frame first we need to create another data frame so, so copy this and paste here now suppose our second data frame name is df2 and we take another value suppose <coughs> so uh suppose we change here the key values uh, 1 2 3 4 to 5 comma 6 comma 6 comma 7 and the uh, and these values are suppose we change here uh, 500 and the uh, 6 500 and 600 this is value of 700 and this is 800 suppose okay and the data frame name is df2 then to call the data frame df2 simply we write ddf2 and run the program with the help of shift plus enter okay as you can see our two data frame is created if we want to uh, display both data frame simultaneously for this we have a in our python language we have a display function to display both uh, data frame so simply we write here display simply we write display and pass 
two uh, parameters or two variables name of data frame one and data frame two so df1 comma df2 these are two uh, data frame name simply call this as you can see our two data frame is display here this is the first data frame this is the second data frame if you want to uh, suppose uh, you want to change the key values in second data frame in the place of a we write a b c suppose we write c and here we write d okay and then simply run this as you can see here because they are this is a different values of c and d simple uh, we call again this and you can see here our two data frame a b and c d are created which is name is data frame f df1 and df2 okay now if we need to join two data frame simply we call the join function okay so uh, for this simply we write here df1 first data frame df1 dot join we call join function and pass the second data frame name df2 okay uh, to see the parameter of the join function simply uh, First, we need to uh, move our cursor in the in, in between the parentheses and uh, simply sh enter shift plus tab. You can see the parameter of all the join function. As you can see, this is the parameter of join function. Okay, and uh, the uh, the detail of these parameters the parameters are other on and you can see. As you can see here, this has a join. They take the left and uh, R suffix, L suffix, R suffix, how other. Okay, these are the parameters. So uh, other how the parameter other the detail of parameter other is as you can see here data frame. It take the value of data frame series or list of data frame. Okay, so uh, you can see all other the detail of all other parameters how uh, L suffix and and all you can see here okay now uh, if we need to join to, to, to data frame first we write the data df1 dot join data frame to df2 here simply and then press the and then run the program with the help of shift plus enter as you can see the, our two data frame is joined okay if we want to change the order of the data frame so for this we write here df2 and here we write df1 okay and then run the program you can see our uh, the order of data frame come join the order of joining of data frame is changed as you can see here cd and ab now you can see the uh, index in both data frame data frame 1 and data frame 2 is the default uh, index which is 0 1 2 3 and 0 1 2 3 that's why uh, data frame 1 and data frame 2 are joined but if the index are different in uh, in data frame 1 and data frame 2 data frame 1 has a different index of data frame 2 then you can can you, you are not able to join two data frame with the help of this join function because uh, then we use this join function it, it take only the same index number okay so okay let me check about this uh, how to work this for this first we need to uh, change our index in data frame 1 so simply we write here we uh, we write here suppose uh, separated by comma we write here index index uh, index equal to in the list we take uh, suppose in the, in first data frame index is small a and because we have four values so we need to give the four index a b and c and d okay c and d they are the four index in our first data frame then uh, call this okay now you can see our in first data frame index are a b c d and in second data frame the default index 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 now we uh, i am trying to display in both display both data frame df1 and df2 okay now uh, i am trying to join both data frame but as you can see 
as we have already discussed about if we both data frame had different 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 uh, index numbers or index then the join function cannot work okay it work but is not print to the second data frame value okay okay as you can see here because both data frame had different index as you can see it seemed to be joined but the second uh, second data frame which is passed in df1 named as df1 has no value it is not printed the value it take only the not not a null an an type value or missing value okay because uh, both data frame has the different data frame, different indexes okay now if uh, our if two data frame have the same same name of column column name is same in two data frame then what will happen so uh, for, for to see this uh, work first we need to change our data frame suppose our data frame column name is a and b and c or d here suppose we write here a okay it means both in both data frame one column name is same and then how to work it it show the error because now display and then when uh, to join uh, when use the join function uh, to join both data frame simply we write uh, sim simply call this as you can see in second data frame the column name is same okay now you can see here this is show the error because because it is overlapping problem to overcome this as you can see here column overlap uh, but no suffix specified okay so when uh, two column names two any two column name in same in two data frame then the join function uh, join function written the as you can see here a error okay to overcome this type of problem we use we, we have two parameters in join function l suffix and r suffix okay uh, to 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 change the or to overlap overlap the uh, column name okay we use the r suffix and l suffix simply we write here separated by comma l suffix okay it take a value suppose it's in a string uh, suppose underscore 2 okay this is the underscore underscore 2 suppose now call this okay you can see it is printed as a the column name a in the first in the second data frame name is a2 it replaced by or oper overlapped by the a2 okay with the help of l suffix so when we have a two column name same in data frame with the we can we can uh, convert in we can overlap with the help of l suffix method okay you can pass any string value here with the similarly we can use here r suffix to L suffix means less it take the left side and r suffix it take the right side value of the of the data frame okay so i hope it is clear all of you if you need to see the value of r suffix simply we write here r suffix and then run the program you can see here this is a2 print in the right side okay when we use the l suffix is print in the in the left side okay okay now i think it is clear all of you if you have any type of query please write in comment section okay and if you like this video please hit the like button and share among the friends thank you thank you so much